Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back. I told y'all it's a marathon. Y'all finna chill with me today since I didn't. I did not give you life last week. I didn't bring it because sometimes I feel like it. Sometimes I don't straight up. But I'm back, so it got a little too hot in my bathroom. Messing with that flat iron, so I decided to sit on my bed. And work on my makeup. So while I'm here, I, I decided that I want to talk about all these, all this. First of all, let's talk about this word hater. I I realize that there are haters that exist in the world. I don't like hater the word. I just I'm over it. It's it's so played to me. It's like gone with the wind, fabulous. Like everybody's a hater. And I understand why people use it, but I'm just, I'm tired of it. I am. And it's just really just a part of life. Like, you know, as long as people adore you, people will hate you. I mean, it just is what it is. You know, and it's something that you should definitely embrace. Some people are going to love everything that you do, and some people just by the pure nature of who they are they're gonna hate on you they're gonna have things to say about you they're gonna hate on your situation they're gonna hate on your relationship they're gonna hang on who, hate on who you are and it's just childish to me like even saying it sounds like junior high they're hating on me they're haters doesn't that sound a little kiddish to you? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It just sounds a little kiddish to me to even say it. Like, even the thought of saying, oh, that person's a hater. Yes, honey, they're hating on you. But, you know, it's something that you have to embrace and say, and, you know, kind of work through. And I've dealt with my fair share of them. You know, I may be who I am. I'm a thick girl. You know, I do what I do in life. I live the life that I want to live. And pe some people have an issue with it. And they hate and they say things. And they try to disrupt it. But I'm just kind of like, whatever. If you have enough time in your busy life to focus on what I am doing and then devote more time to hating on what I'm doing and then perpetuate the hate to other people then obviously you're focused on the wrong thing why are you focused on me and what I'm doing to make time to hate on me and not focus on improving yourself in your life because whether you hate on me or not I'm still gonna do me I'm still gonna be me I'm still going to have good days and bad days. Some days I'm going to be wild and crazy. Some days I'm going to be shy. Some days I'm going to be angry. You know, it's just, I'm going to be me regardless. If you hate or not, I'm just past that stage in my life where I care. I just, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I really apologize in advance. I just stopped caring such a long time ago. You know, and when I when I was in that stage of my life, I used to really be concerned with it. Because everybody wants to be liked. Everybody wants people to, you know, to see the good in you. And people sometimes look at you and they think you're being vicious. And they, they, they believe that you're trying to do something with bad intentions and be hurtful when they really don't know the background story and they don't give you a chance to tell them the background story. And then next thing you know, oh, they're a hater. I'm like, she over it, over it. I'm just like, life is just, it's for, it's for living. It's for the purpose of being happy, going for your ambition finding out you know what does it for you like live your life honey just to the fullest i just I, i'm sorry i just don't have enough hours in my busy life to focus on what other people are doing and hate on them and hating is such an easy act to do you 
could see a picture on Facebook and be like, oh, da -da 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 -da. oh, she's fat, and ugly, and sloppy, and boop, and this and that, and I've hated. If you are really admitting to yourself who you are as a person, everybody's been a hater, and everybody's been hated on. It's a part of life, people. Part of life. So just accept it. Like Cat Williams said, if you don't have enough haters now, you should have about 30 more. That's not exactly what he said, but to that effect. You should have 30 more before the end of the day. Because, honey, if they're paying attention to you and giving you enough of their emotional attention and drive to hate on you, you must be doing something right. Okay. So, let me give you a personal story of hate. Hate, being hated on so I was a bit of a nerd a bit you know I was a young chap I was a bit of a nerd like orchestra violin toting honor student nerd geeked out just nerded up I was a thick girl you know my mom still did my hair she still bought my clothes I wasn't a fashion diva you know and then I went to a very progressive school, you know, I was in ROTC, you know, I was a geek, I just was, you know, most of my friends were just, we were like the off crew, we were just like, you know, the kids that kind of did things on their own being path, and I was a part of that crew. I am not ashamed to admit that, at all. So, you know, with the invent of Facebook... I've been able to be in contact with, you know, a lot of people I went to high school with, and at the time, I was going to church quite a bit, so a lot of the girls I was going to church with, and, you know, so, incident. So, in 2012, you know, I was posting whatever, doing whatever, taking pictures, out and about, just enjoying life, enjoying who I am as a person. And, of course, my mom is on my Facebook because, you know, it is what it is. She knows her daughter. So, she calls me one day and she was like, hey, you posted something on Facebook and, you know, the women, well, the girls you went to church with are passing around your information. And it wasn't nothing racy. I had just went out with some friends and we went you know, the happy hour, and we were having fun, and karaoke, and, and just, you know, doing the most, and that was just me, that's just how I was feeling at the time, and I was like, can you just please take that down, you know, I don't want it, you know, to be embarrassed, or whatever, and I love my mom, and I respect her, like, for real, like, still scared of my mom to this day, so out of respect for my mother, I took the pose down, because I don't ever want her to feel, you know, like I don't listen. And no matter how old I get, I will never be older than my mother. So I respect her on that level. And it was a bit much. Like, we was wilding out. So I took it down. And a friend of mine who happens to be friends with those girls was on one of their Facebook pages. I don't remember exactly how this transpired. But she, you know, it's messaged me like, oh, they're saying this and that about you. And she copied the post and sent it over to me. Uh, they just talk about, you know, you must think you're cute, but you're still, you know, you're still the same girl and all this stuff. And I was like, so let me get this straight. It's 2012 that this happened. And y'all hitting on me? For what? All of y'all are marrying. All of y'all, you know, have children, have lives, have family, have a career. Why have you made time to say anything about who I am and what I am and how I get down? Like, it just kind of pissed me off. So, being hated on, I became a hater, right? So I just kind of like was looking through their pages and I'm like, okay, y'all don't look nothing like you did back, back in the day. Like, what happened to these little skinny, you know, supermodel type chicks, you know, y'all done had popped out a few kids and been married and got comfortable and chunky and all this stuff and 
bad skin and I start the hate started to well up and I was like I could say a thousand things I could be evil and mean and say a thousand things but instead I just kept posting more pictures and being more fabulous and being me because nothing there's nothing that a hater hates more then you continuing on because I don't know sometimes in the mind of a hater they feel like if they tell you something coming from a hater and being hated on a hater feels like if they tell you something or put something in your face say oh you're cute but that hairstyle uh uh I got to go and then you keep wearing it and you keep doing whatever it is that you were doing that they were hating on it just bugs them more so I get more enjoyment out of perpetuating the hate Please, continue to hate. It's actually making me feel better that I am disturbing you and your life so much. So. I mean, people. Embrace the hate. Embrace it. It's a part of humanity. It's part of life. You must have been hated on and you will be a hater at some point in your life. It's a part of the rotation of this big thing we call Earth. It's nothing to be distressed about. And I used to stress out about it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm getting hated on. No, because I wanted everybody to be my friend. I wanted people to embrace me and understand who I was as a person. But I'm like this. If you want to know me and get to know me as a person without hating on me, then you'll take the time to do that. I don't have to bring it to you. You'll want to know about it. So if you don't want to know, you want to hate, that's fine. As long as you don't mess with my food, my money, or my family, we're straight. Hate from a distance. And don't put your hands on me, and we good. Because hate does make you greater. Isn't that what they say? I'm going to um, get that shirt printed out. Print it out for the summer so that I can rock it whenever I'm just kind of feeling some kind of way because it's just ridiculous don't get all butthurt and this is for like a lot of you know my younger friends don't get hurt don't care don't trip and haters range from anywhere from your friends you went to school with to people you go to work with to your bosses to people on the street, the restaurants, politicians, don't matter. Hate can come from anybody, anywhere, at any time. Shake it off. Evaluate you. If you love and know you, hate will not bother you. Not one bit. You will not be disturbed by hate at all. Just do you, baby. Do you to the fullest. Give them all of you. All your judge. Judge them to death. So, is that a rant? I don't know if that's a rant. I don't think it was a rant. But I'm going to finish getting beautified. And then I'll be back with my next vicious year. Peace out, humanity.